When I came into the mental health system, um, I was I was fairly young and um, was told that that I would be the what, mentally ill the rest of my life, and that I would never have any um, any of my goals or dreams would were just gone because I had this diagnosis now. Uh, there was time in my life when I had no hope because I was pretty well persona non grata. I was the black sheep of the family. So I thought, I'm just falling apart. Many of us were raised a certain way, and you know, we were raised that uh, that was a bad thing. Mental illness is a terrible thing, and you know, then like say you go to professionals and you get that same attitude from a regular doctor. The mental illness had been there for most of my life. And I knew that there was something wrong, but I never really knew what. I know I saw it at one time as a character defect, or maybe that I was weak. So the feeling of not being enough or doing well enough was always there. You can be in a crowd of people and you feel lonely. A mental illness is an illness. It's, it's a legitimate health illness. There's different types of mental illnesses. There is different types of stages of different diseases, and different people cope different ways. What makes it stigmatized is that it affects the behavior. People feel like it's controllable somehow, and it can be. Um, but it only, I think it only can be when you have support. Every time I am unwell, and I may need to go to the hospital, it's brought on by an event that is pretty much out of my control. The medication clears it. It lets me live in this world as a normal person. It lets me take care of my family. We aren't our illness. We are who we are. We're, we're brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and such, you know, and so we're not just mentally ill. You don't walk around saying, I'm a heart problem. In the same way, I'm not the, my mental illness, I'm Chris, you know, and, and I always will be. I'm proud of who I am. I have support here that tells me, mainly my doctor, Michelle, this wasn't your fault. Well, I think the one of the biggest challenges uh, to the community or in the community is obviously stigma itself. I thought of the people that are portrayed on TV, you know, uh, especially in newscasts, you know, the, the person that goes and shoots up the college campus, you know, they're mentally ill. That's the kind of view I had of mental illness. Once we communicate, that that's not true. As a matter of fact, uh, some of the statistics, uh, the, the quote, serious crimes are only committed by 5% of those left with a mental illness or disability. The other 95% are committed by the quote, normal world, All right. and that we're more likely to be a victim of crime than to commit a crime. Education is, is the most important thing we need to do. Uh, to try and, and break through that barrier because ignorance is right along with prejudice. You know, if you're more informed, you're less likely to be ignorant. Removing the stigma would mean not having to have an advocate for those of us with mental, mental illness or any other disability for that matter. Um, it would be not having to fight for your right um, to go to a job interview, feeling just the normal things are threatening, like feeling, oh, I'm nervous, is my hair in place, is the normal little things, but not fearing, is that interviewer going to look at me on an equal level? We need to change the way we think, uh, the way we treat one another. We got to be nicer and kinder towards one another, and we need to stop being abusive on the job, in the neighborhood, in the community, on the buses, in the schools, because we're all people in this world trying to live our lives out. That's all we want to do. If I want other people to change their attitudes, I have to change my own also. 
So I, I fight that a lot. I catch myself not telling people, and, and the more I go along, I want to tell them, because I have nothing to be ashamed of. That is my hope and my dream, that people can become enlightened enough that everyone will be accepted, and that we can get beyond our egos and center ourselves so that we can handle what life throws at us. It is so difficult. It's bad enough you have the problem, but then you have to deal with, with that stigma on the side, which just compounds the whole thing.